Here is a quick tutorial on how to use the Juxtaposer app to combine two photos in a very interesting and unusual way. This is what the Juxtaposer icon looks like on your iPad. When you click on it, you're going to be surprised to see some artwork already there from the previous user. Don't freak out, just look for what they call the hamburger the three horizontal lines in the upper left-hand corner. See how it's like a hamburger? Bun, meat, bun. That will take you to this screen. The top words say, start new session. So click on that. And then you'll see these two gray panels. The one that says background will always be your artwork. So we're going to click that one first and then click take a photo. So we can take a photo of your art. Here's an example of a student piece of art that I'm going to photograph. Try to photograph just the artwork and not the floor or the table. When you do, you might see that it comes out vertical instead of horizontal. Don't worry about that. You can always just turn your iPad the right direction. You can choose retake if you don't like it or use photo if you're happy with your picture. I chose use photo and this is what happened. The artwork became the background panel. Now you're going to click on top image and take a picture of yourself. So we want to hit the words take a photo. This will activate the camera on the iPad and you can have a friend take a picture of you. I wasn't able to take a picture of me because I don't have a friend. So I took a picture of this painting I've done of a boy jumping in midair you need to give some thought to what pose you want to be in your picture and have your friend take the photo without cutting off a hand or a foot or your head. Try to get your whole body in the photo. Here's where you're going to select retake or use photo depending on whether you like it or not. This is what it looks like if you choose use photo. You can see your background and your top image. To continue, you must select done. Now you'll be shown your top image with a square around it or a rectangle. You're to move all the sides, all four sides, closer and closer to your subject until they're just about to touch at the top, the bottom, the right, and the left. Now do you see that fancy little square? It looks like a snowflake inside of a square at the very bottom, middle. You're gonna click on that and everything except the subject will disappear into a little checkered background. You're going to need to hit the word done again at the top right corner. And when you do, that little subject is going to appear on your background page. Probably not where you want it, but it will be right in the middle and you can drag it to where you want it, make it bigger or smaller, tilt it, or even flip it over. This little four directional arrow needs to be highlighted in order to move the top picture around. Remember that hamburger in the top right hand corner? When you click on that, you've got some options here. You could add or replace an image. So I'm going to hit add replace and I'm going to add another person. This is what pops up when you hit add replace image. The top panel says add a new top image. So I'm going to go into my camera roll and find a picture of me that I have already on there. So this time I'm going to click on load a photo instead of take a photo because it's already on the iPad. I just need to find it. Okay, don't laugh, don't laugh. This is me at the beach and it's perfect because I'm in a bathing suit and I'm gonna be swimming underwater with the fishes. I selected use photo and I cropped around myself and quickly removed the background. And I moved myself to where I want and now I'm ready to be finished. When you're done, you've got to save your work. Please save your work. Go to the hamburger and go down to save image. If you're not done, you'll want to choose save current session. Then you could come back later to finish your work by selecting load a saved session. Okay, have fun with this. Add as many people as you'd like. <laughs>